Hey, how's it going? I'm Jason with Draw for God, and I'm here to help you kick a habit and draw closer to God. Before we get started, let me get a little music going. So my wife just made this awesome video on her testimony and how she just recently was healed by the Lord. And that's one of the things that we want to start focusing on more with Draw for God is our stories, our testimonies, because we want to let you know that God's love is real and his mercy is great and his grace is awesome. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. Uh, I want to share a quick testimony uh, with you on how I quit nicotine. Back in the 90s is when I picked up smoking. It started with a couple friends just hanging out thinking, oh, this is so cool. Next thing you know, I'm addicted. 15 years later, I get up one morning, my wife says, we are done smoking. I'm like, excuse me? I didn't have time to prepare for this. She took our, what we had left in cigarettes, broke them in half and trashed them. She was done, I wasn't. I ended up uh, finding a crutch, which was these little, little tobacco pouches that you just kind of sneak up right in there, spitless, smokeless, I was set. So I had my steady dose of nicotine. I was able to get my fix at work, church, School functions, just anywhere, because I could just sneak it right up in there. Nobody even knew. Um, I was addicted to those things pretty badly. But you know, as time passed, I started feeling guilty. I just had a huge guilt trip for putting that poison into my body, but it still wasn't good enough. I wanted to quit, but it wasn't good enough. Every time I put one in, I was like, oh man, I'll tell you what, I really shouldn't be doing it. This is good. I get my fix. Um, this went on for quite a while. Until one morning, I woke up, going down the hall, my morning routine was the first thing I was to grab those little nicotine pouches to get my fix. As I'm going to grab it, I heard a small, still voice said, you're done with those. And immediately I'm like, you're done you're with those. those. You're done you're with done those. those. You're done with those. You're done with those. You're done with those. I can tell you one thing is when the Lord speaks to you, you listen. You listen to his guidance. Even if it's just a few words, I knew it was the Lord. And I'm like, okay, I've got to do this. I have to do this. I took what I had, trashed it, went and told my wife. We went straight into prayer. And I can honestly tell you, it wasn't like a quick switch. It wasn't like I didn't crave nicotine at all. It was, it was a struggle. But what I did to get past this, and here comes the testimony, what I did to get past this is every single time I had a craving, I went straight to prayer, straight to prayer. Whether it was a 30 second prayer or a 10 minute prayer, I was praying. And I'm telling you, each and every single time that I had a craving, I went to prayer, I got on my knees, and I prayed to God in the name of Jesus to take away these withdrawal symptoms and these cravings. I don't want them. I don't need them. Please take them, Lord, from me. And he did every single time, every single time. And it did get easier over time. Prayer is an awesome distraction to have because the Lord heard my cries. I got my mind off of myself and put my mind on the Lord and seeking his face and his his freedom and his mercy because I knew he was going to give it to me. All I had to do was just ask. And I am so happy to share with you that by the grace of God, I have been nicotine free for a little over three years now. It's just awesome. You talk about freedom in this, financial freedom, just knowing that you don't have to go buy those nasty things anymore and pump that poison into your body. It's just, it's so awesome. So I'm sitting here telling you that prayer works God loves you. He wants you to kick that nasty habit. And all you have to do is just do what I did. Go straight to prayer. Don't try to crutch off any kind of other form of nicotine, like those weird patches or another form of nicotine, uh, any kind of supplement. Don't try to do the hypnotism route. Don't try to take those weird pills that make you see things and have weird nightmares and make you want to kill four people. <laughs> just stay away from all that stuff. Go to prayer. Go to God and he will help you. Before I go, I wanted to read you something real quick. This comes from Hebrews 4.16. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. That tells us that because we have Christ living in us, we have the confidence, my wife said the other day, Godfidence, to approach the throne of the Lord and just ask him, cry out to him. He is going to hear your cry and he's going to give you the mercy and grace that you need to get through this. 
Thank you so much for watching this video and your support for Draw for God. You know, anytime that you share, like, comment, subscribe to these videos or even the drawings, you are showing support to this ministry. And I just want to say thank you so much for that um, in helping other people as well as yourself draw closer to God.